March wasn't a bad month. Honkai Impact Third Part 2 came out. I got to beta test AFK Journey. Solo Leveling Arise released into Early Access and it didn't actually suck. April looks significantly better, however, and is arguably one of the best looking months to date this year. Hey, my name is Six, and welcome back to another episode of Gotcha's Releasing Next Month, a video series I do every single month where I take the time to make you aware of everything releasing in the coming 30 days in an effort to make sure you don't miss anything. One of the main reasons that this is going to be one of the best months in recent memory is the fact that Do It Night Abyss, an upcoming gacha game that all of us are incredibly excited for, confirmed that they are holding a closed beta test and I got in. I have the opportunity here to stream Do It Night Abyss for all of you. I can compile my thoughts, compile tons of gameplay, feature everything the game has to offer and let you all know whether or not we should actually genuinely be excited or if it's just some low quality, low budget piece of trash. With this in mind, I strongly urge you to come on over and join me on stream over at Twitch at roughly 10.30 a.m., 11 a.m. EST. I'll be streaming for about five hours today and then again tomorrow. I am really excited. If you enjoy the series, make sure to like the video, leave a comment letting me know what you're most excited for, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you don't miss anything that I post and I post a lot, so don't miss out. If you're curious what came out last month or at any point this year, consider checking out any video in this series. Other than that, let's just jump right in. I'm gonna start this off with gotcha games that are still yet to release and are releasing in the next couple days of March 2024, because these games are games you're going to be able to play almost immediately. Evil Prince and the Puppet just entered into closed beta testing, lasting until April 1st. The game is supposedly similar in terms of gameplay to Yokai Watch, but the beta test is under an NDA, I believe, disallowing the sharing of information. AFK Journey is a semi-open world RPG that is considered to be the spiritual successor to AFK Arena. However, after playing the previous beta quite a bit, I can confirm that this is nothing like your traditional AFK idol game. It releases on March 27th and I cannot be more excited to play through it. Star Seed Asnia Trigger is releasing on March 28th. Gameplay seems to be very similar to Blue Archive, but instead of chibi characters, they're fully 3D. Honestly, the game doesn't look bad, and I have been kind of excited for it purely due to the hot waifus that I've seen. Do It Night Abyss is, as far as I'm aware, supposed to be an open world action RPG that is holding a test phase beginning on March 27th and running through March 29th. This is one of my most anticipated upcoming gacha games, and I'm actually gonna be streaming it shortly after this video goes live on Twitch, and I could not be more excited. They're games with releases in the last few days of March, games that you have the chance to play while waiting for April's releases. Now let's see what April has to offer us. Let's start this off with Astra Knights of Veda, a game that is very similar to Dungeon Fighter Online, describing themselves as a visually stunning, story-rich, violent 2D action RPG brawler where players tackle numerous dungeons, instances, much in the way you would a dungeon crawler. It has a dark aesthetic, it is filled with gruesome action combat, with the devs touting their fluid combat with powerful skills and dodge rolling. Additionally, Astra is both a single player game and completely co-op, allowing up to four players to play cooperatively. Astra Knights of Veda launches on April 2nd on Steam, Android, and iOS. Before we discuss the remainder of Gotcha Games launching in April 2024, let me to take a moment here to thank my incredible patrons over on Patreon. Your guys' support is why I can continue to make videos like this every single month. I deeply appreciate you all being there for me. Persona 5 The Phantom X is the Chinese Persona game that was first announced in 2021. It's a spin-off of Persona 5 taking place in a parallel universe with both Sega and Atlas being involved in the production of the game and giving their approval. A lot of gameplay is similar to the gameplay found in its predecessor with the player living his life in the real world as well as fighting bad guys in the metaverse. You'll encounter a lot of familiar areas. There will be plenty of mini games such as fishing and batting. Combat is completely turn-based and the game features a lot of slice of life elements. The Phantom X is confirmed to be releasing in China on April 12th, Taiwan on April 18th, and globally at an unfortunately undisclosed time. 
but I am curious how this game will ultimately end up given I've never tried a Persona Gacha game before and it could potentially be a lot of fun or turn out absolutely horrible. Tokyo Debunker is a game that has gone through numerous incarnations, changing not only the main cast of characters, but also the style of gameplay on more than one occasion. However, it is finally ready to release after settling on a style and general direction. Tokyo Debunker takes place at the Darkwick Academy, our players are tasked with exploring Tokyo, solving supernatural cases, plaguing the city. You'll work alongside your classmates who have sold their souls to demons in exchange for a wish. Recruiting characters, cat familiars, battling monsters, engaging in various different game modes in full live 2D. There's a confirmed cooperative mode enabled, allowing players to play with one another. The game officially launches on April 18th. Dofus Touch isn't your traditional gacha game, but it does technically fall under this category and is completely relaunching on April 3rd with a new English server, new early game experience. Dofus Touch features 15 original characters as 10,000 maps to explore a plethora of unique formidable monsters to engage, over 70 dungeons to plunder. It's an MMO, so you'll encounter other players, join guilds, group up, and participate in some incredibly fun turn-based tactical combat. Utilizing combos and devastating elemental abilities, the game is completely free to play, and with this relaunch is more accessible than ever. This is one of the ultimate MMORPG experiences on mobile devices, and as a big fan of the Dofus and Wakfu universe, I cannot stress enough how excited I am to be able to talk about all of this with you guys. Zenless Zone Zero has opened registrations for their upcoming amplifying test, and applications are open for a limited time, meaning if you don't pre-register and apply now, you'll probably miss out on your chance to play the game. Zenless Zone Zero is probably tied with Wuthering Waves as 2024's biggest, most hyped, most anticipated gacha release, or at the very least it was for a while until it became apparent to all of us that played the game and that are just watching the game unfold that the game was essentially a TV simulator and Wuthering Waves emerged as the most anticipated gacha game of 2024. But Hoyo has confirmed that there are many changes coming in the amplifying test, including a drastic change in the focus on TV gameplay, which could lead to a significantly better reception. So much of Zenless remains an absolute staple of quality production and will still arguably be a lot of fun to play. It isn't confirmed specifically when the test will be held, but given applications have been open for over a week now, it's very likely to be held at some point in April, although that is purely speculation. And that is all nine gacha games that I'm aware of that are releasing in some form and are playable in April 2024. There is a lot to be excited for, and some we're gonna wanna immediately pass on, but hopefully April provides you guys something to have some fun in. Again, if you're interested, I urge you to check out one of the videos on screen right now for more gacha goodness.